So this is how you hold drumsticks. Hey drummers, how do we hold drumsticks properly? What is the best way where we can be the most efficient drummers? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Evan Chapman here with A Tune Musician where our mission is to help drummers find their creative freedom behind the drums and also find and keep the motivation to practice and to keep finding that betterment and to keep getting past those plateaus that we always face as drummers and as musicians. Today we look at how to hold drumsticks properly. This video is almost specifically for beginners, but it's always good information to go back on as we advance behind the drums. So the easiest way that we can go about finding how to hold drumsticks properly, we'll go over that first and then we'll go over three specific types of matched grips. And then I'll go over one more grip where I won't delve into a lot, uh, but I'll, I will go over it briefly. So how do we hold the drumsticks properly? So the easiest way to do that is if you stand up and let your arms loose at your side, normally when you stand up and your hands are at your side, your hand naturally kind of does this number here. Your fingers curl up a little bit. I mean, everybody's does. So we're essentially taking that geometry, if you will, and applying it to the stick grip. So it's, it's a very loose grip that we are using. So with the way our hands are at our sides when we're standing up like that, we're applying that to the way we're holding drumsticks here. And specifically, there's two different fulcrum points, which is where we're getting the most bounce and it's working for us when we drum. Middle finger fulcrum. Index finger fulcrum. And we'll go over those here in a little bit as well so you can see those. So with that fulcrum point, where my stick is actually sitting is from a middle finger fulcrum, this first crevice here on, on my fingers, my pointer finger and my middle finger. And with that loose grip, it's firm, but it's loose, middle finger fulcrum on that first crevice. And then pretty much all the other fingers are just as you can see here, perched over, relaxed nicely. Same thing for the index finger, except you'll move the middle finger back. So two different fulcrum points. So this is how you hold drumsticks properly, essentially. So with that, there are three different matched grips. I do want to mention the first grip that we're not going to mention first. It is traditional grip. And this is where you see drummers who have this grip, their first two fingers and their thumb are holding the drumsticks. And a lot back in the day when snare drums, mar marching drummers would wear their snare drums, they'd be tilted like this. And that's kind of where that came from. It just made more sense to do that. So we're not really going to delve into that one because that's kind of beyond uh, me. I don't actually do that stick grip, but it definitely deserves its respect. So with that being said, naturally, when you picked up the drumsticks a little bit ago after you did the stand up. Relax grip, middle finger or index finger. You probably had your sticks tilted like this. At a 45 degree angle, angled inward a little bit, whether that's middle finger there or index. We'll get into what that grip is here, but let's get into the other two first. We have the German grip, which is essentially our sticks are 90 degrees, palms facing downward. It's called the German grip because they would play timpanis with this grip and you're able to get a lot of power from your wrists with this, this grip. There's also techniques like the molar method where you're getting multiple bounces uh, with, with this. <laughs> with 
with this German grip. And there's also another grip we'll get into that uses that Muller method. So the German grip's really good for, for getting that power. You're going to be using it a lot on the ride cymbal. You know, if you're reaching over here and trying to hit the bell of the ride. You're going to need that German grip. So once again, German grip, 90 degrees, power in the wrists. Really, that whipping motion that we can get with the molar method, being able to obtain multiple bounces with less energy. Just a quick little blurb. If you can't drum any faster, it's most likely your weaker hand. Get more speed and control by taking my course. Check it out in the description below. And if you're serious about improving your speed, endurance, and control behind the drums, it'll get you there. So 90 degrees. So there's another grip. Bam. Our fingers... Our thumb, we're holding the, the, the sticks like a, an Xbox controller, I always say. This is called the French grip. Similar, uh, similarly named French timpani players would play the timpani like this. Bah. And with this grip, you can still get moderate wrist power, but uh, a, lot, a lot of hand, um, a lot of finger speed with this, with this specific grip. You could still get some, some speed with German grip. There's not necessarily as much finesse. So with those two grips, you know, we have the German grip. We're getting that, that power, that whipping motion. We can apply that to rock. We can apply that to heavier genres of music, whatever that may be, where we're required to play louder. That have the French grip. And with that, we can apply that to faster cymbal parts, maybe, or for jazz. Doing faster stuff like that, we can apply that French grip. And then between those two, we actually have what we're naturally inclined to. And, and when you picked up the drumsticks at the beginning of this video, as we went through that the whole scenario, you probably had your drumsticks facing 45 degrees towards each other, which I just mentioned a little bit ago. And this is called the American grip. And there's also other terms for it. But this was sort of a hybrid between the German and the French in that our palms are facing towards each other, the sticks at 45 degree angle. And here we still have that access to the wrist power from the German grip. But then we can also apply that finger control technique through the American grip. So we have access to both of that, and we can still do that molar method technique with the American grip. But what's also cool about all these techniques is you don't have to specifically be using the German grip all the time while you're playing and then be using the American and then be using the French or whatever. We don't have to use one all the time. We're not limited to that. And what's cool is I could be on the, the bell, the ride, doing using German grip and then having using finger control Maybe I don't want to use American grip, but maybe I, I want to use a uh, French grip because I can get faster finger strokes. So, you know, maybe I'm like, okay, well, instead of doing all American, German and, and French. So we're not limited to only using one grip at a time. Uh, we can use different hybrids, which American grip is a hybrid, but as you can see there, I was using German and French. I could use German and American, switch between. Uh, with that being said, uh, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Um, you know, this is how you hold your drumsticks properly. How are your hands? At your side naturally that's essentially how we're holding the stick middle finger fulcrum pointer fulcrum naturally we play the the american grip they're all great grips and we have uses for them and they all have their benefits uh, but once again german we get power from that american we get power we still get that molar method 
French, we have that <laughs> that finesse fast. <laughs> we still have access to wrist control with, with French too. <laughs> and then we have the traditional grip, which we didn't go over. So these are all the different stick grips. That's how to hold drumsticks properly. We can use these different stick grips however we want. Once again, if you're serious about faster speeds behind the drums, check out that link below. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every single time we upload a video here at a two musician. Hit the like and share button if you found this video helpful uh, whatsoever. But what are your thoughts? How do you hold the drumsticks if you've come across this video and you've been playing a while? Let me know. I want to know if you have any questions whatsoever. But until next time, stay tuned.